Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to talk about Crunchyroll and Hatsune Miku and angry fans. They're furious. They're absolutely livid because they just threw Miku on a, a, a regular old flat screen TV. And that's what you're paying to go see, I guess. Yeah, like uh, black, big black screen. <laughs> big black screen. Like you can do this at home. We're going to talk all about this because uh, apparently it's getting pretty spicy on Facebook. Uh, a good friend of ours, um, you know who you are said that uh yeah every post that they're posting on the on the official hatsune miku page is getting slammed and uh, everybody's like answer the damn question what's up with this we're not going to go see this uh yeah this is not good and then then they have crunchy rolls name attached to it you know so before we get to it any further please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants guys you get woohoo if you do woohoo uh this is coming from niche gamer uh, i've not seen hatsune miku in concert i know uh pinky boo is a huge fan i did take her to go see baby metal well that's completely different that's because right? okay. they're real yeah <laughs> you know yeah, so. um oh my god hatsune miku is not real neon how could you um, ruin the illusion yeah normally it's like it's like a glass sheet that's projected onto so it looks like a hologram yes okay that's how it normally is presented <laughs> yes Instead, they just put a giant flat screen black blocks TV up and people are like, just what a the big hell? TV. It looked, at least before, you know, it was a projection, but it kind of looked real. Now it just looks like you're watching a TV show and you're getting you're charging out. Yeah, you can just go watch uh, watch videos that are pre-recorded on your on your TV at home. Yeah, right. I mean, God, some people probably have TVs this big TVs. Flat screen TVs are cheap. You can probably buy one like this at Walmart for it. Wasn't, it wasn't just that, though. They said, okay, the entire North American Miku Expo, which was powered by Crunchyroll, has powered by Crunchyroll, blasted on Twitter. Instead of full concert experience, concert goers were treated to understocked merch vendors, expensive tickets, and most importantly, a flat screen TV <laughs> where Miku would host her concert. Oh my God! It's the uh, Willy's Wonderland. A lot more. For, this is a lot nicer than Willy's Wonderland. Oh, a little bit, but it's budget cut Miku is what this is. They're calling it free Miku. Free That's Miku. Funny. The entire stage of one Miku, event was. No one puts Miku in a box. Uh, entire stage of one event was dedicated to a TV that looks absolutely tiny in comparison. The live band providing the accompaniment for the vocals were relegated to a literal literal cage <laughs> in the corner. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god! Uh, tickets uh, for the Phoenix, Arizona concert range from fifty-five dollars to two hundred and fifteen bucks to go see Miku on a flat-screen flat TV. TV. What the fuck? I mean, it was really cool before because it was like, like I said, it was like it was a clear, yeah, was you clear, can see it projected, here. and it was, it was, it looked real. Uh -oh. it, was, it was really, really cool. Um, so I can see people paid for that. But. <laughs> you had used too many resources. Chrome removed it. Oh my god. It wasn't an ad, Chrome. Never mind. Anyway, yeah, but people know. Look, if you're watching this video, you know what Miku usually looks like in concert. And she looks realish, real adjacent, right? Um, yeah, she was on as a hologram. Uh, the technology was used back, you know, eight years ago. Crunchyroll considers the technology as prohibitively expensive. <laughs> or uh, so maybe there's yeah, right. Maybe I don't think Miku's fans are worth it. Based on the fact that the Vancouver uh, Vancouver concert reportedly only had 95 glow sticks. 95 glow sticks stocked. Wouldn't you have a, a number? Like, if people bought seats, you'd know how many people were coming. You, you'd know how many tickets were sold. Yeah. For the time being, fans are considering their legal options as they feel they were lied to by the organizers. Oh. Damn. Concert go goers uh, report being told that they need to get the specific event light stick or else it will reflect off the hologram despite there being no hologram. They're also blocked from reselling their tickets on Ticketmaster. To top it all off, the fact that TV was being used instead of a hologram was allegedly kept a secret from event goers until they arrived. Well, yeah, they're not going to pay for that. So going out to Facebook, and I got to give a hat tip to our friend, and I don't know if I, uh, he wants me to mention him on here or not, but uh, he said go to Facebook. Every damn post, they're getting dogpiled. And uh, we can go back like, geez, let's go back a couple of days, like a week ago. Hatsune Miko Coachella. So excited to watch TV. <laughs> the moment of truth is coming. Soon we'll find out they cheaped out on the real fans in order to focus on Coachella. Huh. Well, they have it. Bring back the transparent so screen. There's a black screen again. Uh, did y'all save the good screen for Coachella? Or are you bringing a TV to that too? If y'all save the hologram screen for Coachella, what does it say about how you feel about your real fans? The person has got a TV remote. 
Uh, please, someone just tell me this is all a horrible nightmare. Oh my God, it Migu. <laughs> I sincerely hope they do not put the transparent screen there more than anything because if they put there, the hate, yeah. insults, and disagreement will be much greater. Yeah, so if they go to Coachella and give them the full experience, then it's basically like, well, the, the richy people are worth it more than you. <laughs> oh my God, it's Migu. <laughs> I don't understand. Why are there angry people in this post? Oh, my God. Uh, so glad I went to the previous ones that weren't a clusterfuck. This is this is it right here. There we go. That is it. Bring this back. Okay, there we go. We can see it without. Yeah, you can see. She looks like she's actually on stage. This like, is a clear screen. Yeah, and I don't think that is incredibly cost prohibitive. I, I don't understand. Did somebody drop it? Did oh my no, god? Get another one. It's did, not like a big deal. Did they sell it when they were having the fire sale? They sold the damn screen. It's probably really expensive to transport. It's probably a lot of expense involved, and they want to keep as much money from the tickets as possible. That's exactly what's but going on. But it was, on. it was, you know, it's been a, it's expectation for years that it's been that way. Why would you change it to a flat screen TV? God, they're just going all in on Coachella, aren't they? Coachella, 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 Coachella. Did they have the performance at Coachella? Has ended. No, so they use the they use that again. They use the stupid TV. Did they use it? Oh my God! I wonder how many people in the event actually know Hatsune Miku because about half of them were confused, not knowing who she was. No, yeah, they use the big. That's a curtain. It's a black curtain. It's not even a TV. It's at a Coachella. black curtain. At Coachella. The black curtain. Coachella's first weekend performance. They used a freaking what? A lifetime experience on a screen. Yeah. Like it's a black, it's a black curtain. It doesn't look like a TV screen. Oh my God. Uh, here, uh, Miku Expo 2024, North America, one day until first showing in Phoenix. Um, Dago. Let's see here. Let's just go down the list here. Merch will be sold inside the venue. People are pissed here. Bunch of, God, look at this. Okay. This is uh, Phoenix. Enjoy the TV program. I should have just filmed this one, put it in the movie theater. For what I paid, I was led to believe I was getting. I paid for the entire movie theater for the day. Have a blast. Shows are awesome. Stay hydrated. Okay. Uh, you actually wanted to improve the concert goes experience. You bring the glass screen back. Ready to get sued. You, you see that shit? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. This is great. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah, this is not going well for them at all. Um, here we go. Every freaking, look at this. Mostly negative. Mostly negative comments. It got wait, to wait, point. Go back down. Basically, what did they do to my girl? Is what did they do to they... my girl? Yeah. Oh, my God. They massacred my girl. Holy hell. This is so much worse than I thought it was. Uh, here, available only at event location. For those of you who do not have access to Let's or Super Let's Paint, um, do you get a glow stick with that? Uh, let me see here. 13 comments. Well, I notice the comments are kind of dying off. I think they're filtering the negative ones out. Oh, are they? Yeah. I have a message for Crunchyroll. If we burn, you burn with us. Oh, they're just answering with memes now. Like, that's not good. When you're at the meme stage, death to crypto. <laughs> Crunchy roll. What the hell is this? I don't know. Is he shitting <laughs> sand? What is this? I don't know. Go pound sand? I don't know. I survived Miku Expo 2024. My God, this is like the fire festival. I'm here for the comments. Yeah, no, so are we. Uh, merch booth. Merch booth will be located at the main entrance. It's going to start at, uh, at two, 2 p.m. Well, was, uh, 2 p.m. there. There's only three comments. Well, at 2 p.m. there, which was not... That would be like, what, 5 p.m. our time? Yeah. It hasn't started yet. There, Look, this is the official Miku page, right? So there would be a lot more comments. They're, they're purging the comments. I'm here for the comments. Address the fucking screen. Bring back the transparent screen. Two comments. Here's your glow sticks. Here's, here's, well, here's what you're allowed to buy. How much is this crap? Uh, that's how much is the crap? $40 for a glow stick. Wait, that, you have to have that special glow stick and it's 40 bucks. Yep, because you don't want the... You don't want the screen to go transparent if you bring your own glow stick. Well, no, you want the screen to go. I'm just saying, you, yeah, I'm you know saying. what I'm saying? We got to keep her, keep her in the black screen. God, look at this shit. Like, I know concert shit's That's expensive. That's actually but... not that expensive, actually. I was looking at it, and I'm saying compared to other concerts, well, the t-shirts kind of. But I mean, compared to other concerts, it's actually not that bad. It's just a commercial to buy shit, overpriced shit. It's actually That's not what that this terrible. 
Um, I've seen much worse other concerts, so. No, that's not untrue, but like, they're not paying for a screen. You know, <laughs> they're saving some money. Yeah, there were six comments. Now they're, hold on. Can I see? Yeah, all comments. All comments. They haven't purged them all. Oh my God. Miku Expo 2018. Miku Expo 2023 VR. Miku Expo 2024 <laughs> Coachella. Um, they were hiding them. Yeah. A spokesperson for Miku's creator, uh, Krypton Future Media, told Business Insider the LED screen technology will continue to be featured at shows across North America and Europe. We appreciate the fan feedback. <laughs> That's what they're calling it, fan and feedback. And we'll continue to refine our show experience with the audience in mind. So actually, they made... refine with the audience in mind. Bring back the clear screen. Oh, my God. Oh, bullshit. A virtual pop star appeared at her live concerts in Just 2D and fans were throwing a fit. That's kind of the whole point, though. I mean. Bullshit. Tell me to understand without telling me to yeah, understand. Yeah, that's it. some bullshit. That's some bullshit. Can appear in 2D, not 3D. How much is, wait, is, 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 uh, is it Crunchyroll one of their, uh, I don't know. Their, their advertisers? Virtual pop star Hatsune Miku, Miku had the Muku? nerve. Muku. That's who she is. That's who she is. It's Hot Screeny Muku. <laughs> hot Screeny Muku. Uh, she had the nerve to appear in 2D and not 3D while kicking off her latest North American tour, and some fans are fuming. How dare they expect for their. 50 what is it 55 to 125 dollars 200 and some dollars how dare they expect the full experience so they said in their first two stops in vancouver and portland the turquoise pigtailed starlet did not appear as a hologram as she has in the past but said via a big led screen <laughs> and the San- they're talking about the jose show San Jose. yeah it says this is the way we're going to do it I'm sorry, there's no excuse for that LED wall, especially with how much more expensive the tickets were this year. It's a damn shame. I want my money back. Where are the holograms? People see it. Like, look, they go see the concerts, you know, on they watch it on TikTok or on YouTube or whatever, and they're like, this is what I'm going to get for my $125, right? I'm going to get virtual Hatsune Me. No, you're not. You're getting a, you're just getting a dancing anime girl on a black screen. Which you could just watch if you put, you can just get a big screen TV and just play yep. video and the same thing yeah we're going to continue to be yeah well good luck with that because your ticket sales are going to bottom out so they answer you're like answer the question they answered it they're going to continue to do this and they don't give a shit they don't give a shit that's we, what they're saying we that's appreciate you we appreciate the fan feedback yeah it looks like they're purging comments and then the kicker is too like people, they aren't letting people get refunded they're not letting no. refund tickets so i mean they may be able to let you do refunds i don't know but you can't resell your tickets i don't know if there's refunds allowed i don't know but i'm just like what a bunch of bullshit. That is a bunch. I'd be pissed. I'd be, I'd be Those fuming. Whiners. Those whi- How dare they expect the full experience How for their. How dare they expect her to look like she always does. Jeez, God. You could probably do a better job at home. You probably could. You could probably do a better job. Hell, you could watch, watch it in VR, you know? Well, that's true. There you go. So whatever. But yeah, good luck with that, Crunchyroll. That's, that's not a good look. Not a good look. Going to wrap it up? Yeah. Please subscribe. We'll talk later. Bye.